Today, it's all about me and things you probably didn't know about me. Let's see. Hello, hello. Welcome back in the... Right, start again. As, as, I must stop doing that. As I'm in a bit of a funk, I thought I'd kind of blow the cobwebs away a little bit, maybe, and be inspired by my great friend, Pretty Witch, link below. And she did a video about sort of things maybe you didn't know about her. So I'm literally copying that idea and gonna talk about some things you probably don't know about me. So maybe you'll kind of get to know me a bit more. Who knows, you might unsubscribe. Who knows? So, firstly, 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 I'm five foot six, which I believe is one meter 67. So as you can probably work out, I'm very tall. Um, got no issues with the height. It's standard my height. That's me, I'm not that tall, amazingly. Or maybe I'm just far away. Who knows? I have dark hazel eyes. Don't know why I even mentioned that. And one of my biggest loves is sleeping. I love sleeping. I can literally sleep anywhere. Now this is ironic with recent events with my insomnia, with my insomnia, but traditionally or historically, however you want to say it, I can sleep anywhere, literally on the floor. I've been known to get on a plane and I'm asleep before it takes off. I'm the worst travel companion. I just, I'm asleep. Yeah, just love sleeping. I can sleep anywhere, I love sleeping. Apart from now, at night, things aren't going so well on that front. And that's why it's really annoying and frustrating to me because I love sleeping, I really do love sleeping. Now, here's some kind of real juicy, juicy stuff, which may be interesting, I don't know, but just stuff you probably didn't know. I am a scuba diving instructor. I'm a qualified Paddy IDC staff instructor. I haven't taught for a, a few years, to be fair, but it's something that I love doing. Once I did it in 2006, loved it, and yeah, kind of got the bug, and I'm very much a kind of all, all or nothing person, and kind of went through the various stages, all the way through to instructor, and then carried on going, and so yes, and now I'm an IDC staff instructor. I love it. I love scuba diving and taking pictures and videos whilst diving but also just love teaching it's, it's a great feeling to actually help someone who's perhaps not very sure about themselves in water and then see them at the end of the course actually like a fish or dolphin it's an amazing feeling so yeah that's a great thing that um i kind of love to do even though i haven't done it for a while but you might not know about me oddly i told my kids this morning and they were like are you i was like I thought you knew that. Anyway, another huge thing I am absolutely obsessed with is food and cooking. I love food. I love all types of food. My absolute favourite food, I think because it's probably the the kind of, I suppose, the mother of all cuisines, could be a bit controversial there, is French cuisine. I absolutely love French food. Even from the simple dishes, just like sort of duck confit, which is very, very simple, through to real haute cuisine, um, high-end French food. I've managed to and been lucky enough and fortunate enough to eat in some of the best restaurants around the world. I absolutely love food. And generally when I go away on holiday, I always sort of research and see what restaurants are there. And yeah, I just absolutely love eating high-end food and absolutely gorgeous food. Love it, I'm just obsessed with food. And also love cooking food. I say so myself, I'm a very good cook. Something else I'm also very passionate about and absolutely love is cats. I love cats. Now, when I was married, we had two cats, Luna and Stella, both Bengals. Lovely, lovely cats. Great character, personality. They, they, I think Bengal cats, if you know them, they're like almost like dogs. They'll follow you around wherever you are, they are. They, they're obsessed with water. They put their head in a glass of water and they can jump in the bath and shower and stuff. They just love water. Um, but then at the moment, Luna is with my mum. They used to be with uh, us. But then when I when we moved and we had to move out and then there was a dog, so she's with uh, my mum. And Stella is with my ex-wife and, and the kids. And so I sort of see, obviously see both all the time. But yeah, I love cat, all types of cats. I absolutely love cats. Cats are just such a great personality and just, I don't know what it is. Even Even also big cats, like, you know, lions, tigers, leopards. Uh, they're just amazing, amazing creatures, and I'm just, yeah, love cats <laughs> as well. That's what I said, I'm like a cat. I love eating, I love sleeping. But I don't in a box. 
So let's just clarify that. Now, a few kind of uh, one negative thing. Well, I'm, I'm sure there's more negative things about me. I'll just ask, ask people. But one of the things which I'm not proud of, but it is true and I, I'm desperately trying to work on it, is I am always, always late. I'm constantly late for everything. Literally, I'm always running late and I kind of have an idea of how long it will take to maybe get somewhere and then work out sort of the minimum, bare minimum time with nothing going wrong and then leave at that exact point. And if there's a little bit of traffic or something, then I'm screwed. So yeah, I'm always, always late for everything. I'm sorry to everyone that I've been late for. I am trying my best to work that one out. On the back of that, something I'm never late for is flights. Uh, I love flying. I absolutely love flying. All aspects of being on a plane, as much as I even like nice high-end food, I even love standard, normal plane food. It's just there, I just love, I'm just like a child on a plane. I love the whole excitement of going to the airport, whether it's business trip or pleasure. I love flying, love the whole thing of it. It's just ah, so exciting. I've also been very fortunate enough to travel a number of times, business class and first class. And again, whole different world. And, you know, having sort of five, six course meal with different choices of champagne and things like that, amazing. So just everything about flying, I absolutely love. But I'm never late for flights. Get to the airport early, go to the lounge and all that good stuff. I think I absolutely hate negativity, which is kind of ironic saying that I'm negative about negativity. I don't know if that works in a bit of a sort of a thing going on there. But it just, it pisses me off, uh, people who are negative. And not just talking about, you know, if someone's end up having a bad day. You know, that's kind of fine. We all have crappy days and we all have up, up times and good times and bad times and all that stuff. But people who are, seem to be just constantly negative, there's the sort of people, you probably know who I mean, the sort of people that will find a problem to every single solution. They're just, there's nothing kind of good ever and nothing you know maybe people sort of maybe you know people at work or just people in life they, there's always people around that are just negative and kind of complaining and it's like well change it then you know don't just complain about it do something about it if you don't like your job change it if you don't like your partner change them you know do something about it or shut the f up don't constantly whine on about stuff why what you what are you gaining from moaning and whining and being negative nothing so don't. Along the lines of that as well, I hate, absolutely a passion for hate is the concept of settling. Just settling for something and not kind of striving for something better. And a couple of other things. I love fast cars, I love sports cars. From not the moment, I have to admit, because you know, financially things aren't the best, but for 10, probably about 15 years, um, from about 2002, 2001, thereabouts, I have owned Porsches. I love Porsches, and I've had five in that time. I've had two Boxsters, so a Boxster and a Boxster S. I've had a KN, so the big kind of uh, four-wheel drive. And I've had two 911s, one 911 Carrera 4, and one, luckily, a one 911 Turbo. And that was insane. Such an amazing car, so fast. It's just ridiculous and great car and great for having the kids in because to be honest that's the only thing you can fit in the back of a 911 is kids but amazing i love them and said that i'm looking forward to the kind of the next journey with sports cars i love i'd love to have a lamborghini um i have to have an aston martin because of the whole db thing it's fate but yeah an aston martin would be amazing also practical for the kids You've got to think practical you see when you're family where well, the lamborghini's only got two seats so maybe not so practical but there's a lamborghini four-wheel drive who knows who knows but i love sports cars i love fast cars i love everything about all of that stuff and something that alongside of that is i have a number of years ago i restored i rebuilt and restored a 1979 ford rs2000 so one of those bright yellow ones with the four headlights and two litre engine, great fun car, Mark II Escort, just oh, amazing. And I bought it, loved it, always wanted one, and then literally rebuilt the whole thing in my garage, restored it, welding, panel beating, the whole, the whole thing, and absolutely loved it. So yeah, I've kind of got the passion for sort of rebuilding things and building things up to their best thing, like people. So yeah, so 
that's probably it for today. There's a few things maybe you said you didn't know about me, and maybe you did, maybe you didn't, but um, it's good fun, it's something different, and it's a bit better than me whining on about how I'm feeling. Even though this is supposed to be an honest vlog, but this was honest, it's about me. So it's kind of, but yeah, the um, Pretty Witch gave me the idea, and I thought, oh, so thank you, thank you. And yep, yeah, and I'll link her channel as well down there. So, so that's it for today, you know, Thanks for tuning in. If you did get value, as always, Ooh. smash that like button so it's nice and... <clears throat> and subscribe if you haven't. As always, I do appreciate you, every single one of you for subscribing. It does mean the world to me that you're supporting me. And on that note, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thanks again for watching, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so down here. And check out my other video down here. Remember, live your best life and profit from that passion. See you next time. Bye-bye.